I've got your answers. Okay, so now what we're gonna do here is we're gonna actually, well now that we've identified all the components, we're gonna go ahead and uh, start preparing the control panel and the keypad to get it powered up. So you're gonna wanna get yourself some two conductor wire. Uh, in this demonstration, I've got some pre-cut 22 gauge wire. 22 gauge, uh, 18 gauge, any of that stuff will work just fine. So what we wanna do here is this, is we need to open up this panel. And uh, we're going to set this stuff aside so we can do this here. Okay. If you're looking at the panel on the bottom, it'll say DSC and Alexor. And there's two tabs here at the very bottom. So find yourself a flat blade screwdriver. And you're going to insert and pry on both sides. Now I know it feels like probably the plastic case is going to be, you know, going to break. But it is pretty durable. So once you get it pried up here, just going to go ahead and lift it up the rest of the way. Now we can actually set this aside. Okay. So as I mentioned before, the battery is already pre-installed in the panel. Uh, the battery leads are, lo are located here and here. So inside, the battery has these white clips on it. And you can actually just go ahead and slide those off. This seemed to drop mine, so we'll dump it out. Okay. Now, on the bottom of this thing, there's a set of screw terminals here. And the two on the left side here are labeled AC. So that's what we need to get our wire in so we can wire up our transformer. So we're going to go ahead and use my pre-cut wire. And in this case, the wiring channels, we're going we're gonna to bring the, the cable in through the back of the control panel. So that way we can get the lid on it later. Okay. So now we've got our wire through. We're going to go ahead and insert it in here. And again, this is one wire to each terminal. And you want to make sure that you don't have any exposed copper wire touching each other before you plug the system in. It's very important. I'm going to give those good tight and make sure that they're in there good and tight. And then we'll just pull the excess slack through the back here so that it's not in our way while we're trying to get this done. We're going to go ahead and plug up our battery. Now the system will not power up on the battery alone, so we'll have to see the AC power before it gets plugged in. Okay. And then on the other side of our wire, we're going to go ahead and, and get our transformer wired up. So here it's going to be one wire to each terminal. Again, you want to make sure that you don't have any excess copper wire touching each other. Good and tight in there. Yep, see? Just check, you always check your connections because you don't want any loose ones. Okay, so we're going to set that side. Now, the keypad. We're pretty much done with the wire and the transformer up on the main panel. So we're going to go ahead and get the keypad ready to go. I brought some batteries of my own, so I'm going to use these. All right. Set this aside here. Okay, so what we need to do is to get the battery compartment, we need to slide this back plate off. If you look at the bottom of the keypad, there's a couple of tabs here, but no need to press anything. You're just going to slide it back, and then it should lift right off. So this is actually your mounting plate, and you can mount that to the wall wherever you want to install the keypad. And then, uh, four AA batteries and then as you saw before the kit includes it so we're going to install them make sure you get your positive and negative right and we'll put these in just like that after we've got that done we'll go ahead and put our back plate back on clicks into place and that's it